The Chill is On is a jazz blues progression in B minor that features different voicings of minor seventh chords. Let's listen to it. Although the chart of this jazz blues gives you only a B minor 7th in the first four bars, it's very common to spice this chord up in a jazz blues progression like this one. You can play variations of the B minor 7th chord, like the one we started off with. The voicing we play is a so-called wraparound grip, as I like to call it, where your thumb takes care of the bottom string. Your index finger lays flat across strings 1, 2, 3, and 4. The minor third of the chord can be found on the third string, and the flat at seventh and the fourth, minor seventh. The bottom string note is the root of the chord, and by playing the minor seventh chord this way so with the wraparound grip, you have a few fingers left to play extensions on top of the chord. We'll talk about those extensions later on. These extensions feature notes out of the minor scale we're playing in, and because there are more than one minor scale we can choose our notes from, we have to be careful in a band situation. The most obvious choices for minor scales are Aeolian and Dorian. We'll talk about those scales in the section about harmony. For now, you need to know that different scales lead to different extensions and sometimes even to different chords. When we're playing with others, we need to choose our extensions and chords from the same pool of notes, otherwise they will clash with each other. The four chord E minor is played with a mellow voicing that does not contain the fifth of the chord. The root is on string five on the seventh fret and is played with your middle finger. The minor third is played with your index finger on the fourth string fifth fret and doubled up on top here by your pinky on the 2nd string 8th fret. The flat at 7th of the chord is on the 3rd string 7th fret, played with your ring finger. This chord can be moved up 2 frets to an F sharp minor 7th chord, which is the same shape, and to a G major 7th. That last chord is played with the middle finger on the 5th string 10th fret, the index finger on the 4th string 9th fret, the ring finger on the 3rd string 11th fret, and your pinky on the 2nd string 12th fret. Now these last two chords, the F sharp minor 7 and the G major 7th, are both embellishments of the A mi minor 7th chord. You don't hear a chord progression moving up the scale because of that low E note. They're, they're all just heard as melodies on top of the E minor 7th chord. Now the second trick we use on the 4 chord E minor 7th is hammering on the middle and ring finger while we play a bar chord at the 7th fret. So here's your bar chord and you hammer on middle and ring finger. The chord we end up with is an E minor 7th chord. The notes on the string 2 and 4 are hammered on and complete the E minor 7th shape. Now the initial bar chord is nothing more than a B minor 7th that we used before in the wraparound grip. In this case we're laying our index finger flat on the 7th fret. Although the chord chart gives you only a minor, E minor 7th, we're actually playing a quick progression, B minor 7th. E minor 7th. The chord trick was used by the Doobie Brothers in Long Train Running. In the turnaround we feature two more complex chords, the C sharp minor 7 flat 5 and 
this shape and in this shape, both listed in the PDF. And then the F sharp 7, sharp 9. Played like this. We'll, we'll uh, discuss this chord later on. It's also called the, called the Jimi Hendrix chord. Now the C sharp minor 7 flat 5 comes from the Aeolian minor scale which is very common in jazz blues. Now in pop music we often replace that chord with a regular minor 7th so this would be a C sharp minor 7th in pop music. This minor 7 flat 5 chord is also known as a half diminished chord. It can be found on that weird seventh degree of an Ionian major scale that we talked about and the second degree of an Aeolian minor scale. As we said before, this F sharp, sep F -sharp seven sharp nine, and that's the sharp nine on top, is a chord with a lot of tension. And we'll dig into these chords in future sections.